Welcome back to another help video. I'm Dean Walks. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've been gone for a minute. Now I'm back with a jump off. Now I'm playing around. I know it's been a while since I've been on YouTube, but I've been battling some personal issues. So in 2017, I lost my sister because the doctor didn't know how to deliver her baby. It's one of those things where it was preventable. It's just, it's just no words. It's just no words. So December came around and I was supposed to put out a video every two weeks documenting my body transformation. But when December came around, I just fall into a state of depression. I didn't want to eat as much. I didn't want to work out as much. I didn't want to do anything. And I'm still in that depression state. I'm trying to push myself out of it. Not to mention, I have a lot of toxic people around me that I had to get rid of. Toxic people steal your energy. So a part of this healthy lifestyle that we're trying to achieve is to get rid of those toxic energy out of our life. So I lost my sister and when that happened in 2017, it was just crazy. 2020 was the first time I visit my sister's grave. And when I tell you there is no emotion that could prepare you for something like that, there is no emotion that could prepare you for something so horrific to see your older sister buried six feet under. It's just one of those things that you just can't explain. Now, when you look at my my chains around my neck, one of those chains had the letter T on it, and T stands for Tunisia. Then underneath that chain, it has a prayer. Now, this is a funny story. Funny fact that I just found out over the summer, alcoholics have a mantra, a prayer that they pray to give them strength. Now, I didn't know this. I thought that, you know, when you go to the AA meetings, they just help you get through the steps, but I didn't know that there's any religious affiliation involved. But one of the prayers is, God give me the peace and serenity to accept the things I cannot change. And that prayer is on one of my chain. <laughs> so when someone would see the letter T and then they would see that prayer, they would ask me, um, how long has it been since I drank? And I'm like, bro, I don't drink. I, I really don't drink. I, I don't I don't enjoy the taste of liquor. And they're like, what? And they're like confused. I'm like, why are you confused? They're like, you're you're wearing the prayer. And I'm like, what? So apparently, people that are recovered from alcohol, they have this prayer that they keep next to them on a chain or maybe somewhere in their head or in, in their wallet or some, just somewhere around just to remind themselves to, to be strong, which I totally agree with. But that's not the reason why I am rocking that prayer on this chain. I'm rocking that prayer to give me the strength to deal with my sister's death. But also on this chain, it has another prayer. If you flip it to the, the back, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done. So, it's just me calling upon God to help me deal with the situation and deal with my sister's death. So apart from that, I have been going to the gym, half hastily I would mention. I have been eating, but, but on and off, good and bad, I would say. So, also I've been dealing with um, a very toxic individual in my life, like a friend that I had to get rid of. When you have toxic people in your life, they could destroy your life and they will not give a flying you know what. So to be better, to be great, you have to get rid of them. You have to know when people show you who they are, recognize them for who they are, and don't try to say, oh, they're gonna change. So I had to get rid of that friend and it's, it's sad because, you know, with friendship, you spend years with someone and you're trying to, you know, build that emotional support. But when you have that toxic friend that just takes and takes and takes and takes and takes and then sets you up for failure, you realize that you have to get rid of them in order to grow. December, I was dealing with this toxic friendship and also I was dealing with my sister's death and something just had to go. So 
I had to be strong for my sister and just visit her and just feel the pain and embrace the pain. And as far as that friendship, I just had to cut it loose, even though it was painful to cut it loose, but it's something that had to be done. So with that being said, I still try to eat right. I still try to exercise, but I'm in a depression state, so it wasn't at the full capacity that I could have. And on top of that, <laughs> deal with all of that like BS, my ass decided to get tonsillitis. And I'm telling you, it's something that I don't, oh my God. If you ever have tonsillitis, it's one of the worst pains you could ever have. Your, your tonsil gets swollen. When you saw your own spit, it hurts. You could display a number of symptoms. You could get fever, you get low energy, loss of appetite it, it's just it's just something that you just don't want to have and i had like two of those this year so being depressed having tonsillitis having a toxic person in my life i just had to take control and just try to fight all of these negative energies and just take control and try to inject my positive light inside my life so i take the rest from my tonsillitis be strong for my sister, got rid of that toxic friendship, and now I'm on my way to recovering and being the best that I could be. Now it's time for the body reveal, but before I do that, make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because I wanna share some other tips and other snacks that you can incorporate into your healthy lifestyle. Okay, so that is my body reveal. <sighs> dealing with what I've been dealing with, I think that I've come a little further in my health journey. I'm not sure if I wanna lose any more weight, you know, because I don't like the skinny look. I do like how I look right now. I do like to have some meat on my bones, but we'll see, we'll definitely see. Um, I don't have a weight goal yet, because currently I'm at um, 216. Now I was thinking about going down to 185, but looking at my body right now, I don't wanna be 185, I feel like that's too skinny for me. I like to have some more power in my body, like some more body weight, you know what I'm trying to say? Some people have to work really hard to gain this weight that I have. 
and I'm trying to lose it. But I look good at this weight and um, I'll, I don't know if I want to go down or even maybe if I want to go up. You know what I mean? Because right now I like the way my body looks, but we'll see. I'll definitely still go to the gym. I'll definitely still exercise. I'll try to be back on track, 100% positivity energy, and try to fight back all those negative things in my life so that I could show you guys if I could do it, you could do it too. So some of the things that you could add to your healthy lifestyle change is one, get a vitamin mixer. A Vitamixer is amazing. I just recently got one. They are expensive, but it is an investment in your life. When I tell you that you can make these awesome smoothies that fill you up, keep you full with real food, oh my God, it's the best. You can make nut butter. I made almond nut butter, I made cashew nut butter, and I'll do a video on how I make those. It's so easy and it's so delicious and you could actually add these butters to smoothies to give it that extra flair. I'm telling you, smoothies are the way to go. Another thing that you could try to incorporate is dark chocolate. Make sure the dark chocolate that you're choosing is 70% dark chocolate. So dark chocolate has numerous um, benefits that has been proven. Some of the benefits are, it may improve brain function, reduce heart disease, and it is a powerful source of antioxidants. So why wouldn't you incorporate that in your smoothie? Now you could melt it, which I like to do. I like to melt it and make my own hot chocolate. I like to just add a bar and just add it to my smoothie. With everything, there is moderation. Please keep that in mind. But I'm telling you, this is good. Mm. So good. So, so good. My friend told me to do a review on waist trainers, and I'm like, waist trainers? Isn't that for girls? Actually, no. Turns out bodybuilders rock waist trainers when they have to do a competition or just in general because they want to keep their waist small. So I've got these two waist trainers. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them yet, but what I do know from my little bit of research that I did, you have to wear it for at least 30 days, eight hours. So maybe I'll do a video on my waist trainer, rock it for 30 days, eight hours, and see how it comes out. And because I did the work, you'll know if it works or not. <laughs> but I'm not sure if I'm gonna take that route. Let's just hold up a second. So if you like my content and you want to see more, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this content if you care. I'm Dean Walks, and thank you so much for joining me in another video. And I'll see you back in another video.